Hey everybody, Danny here, and in this video I wanted to show you a really useful little website called classroomscreen.com. That's a really useful website for people with an interactive screen, and you're looking for things to use on the screen with a class. Let's take a look, and I'll show you what it does. First of all, you need to go to classroomscreen.com. Now you can go straight in, you don't need to register, you don't need to send your details in. It's useful if you do, because if you can link it to your Google account, for example, or set up an account. If you do that, then it remembers your settings, you can set up classes and so on. So if you wanted to click on sign up for free, you can log in with your Google details, also Microsoft, or sign up with an email. So if you wanted to do it like that, that's fine. Um, I'm not gonna do that, I logged in earlier, so I'm gonna click on launch now. And when Classroom Screen fires up, what you basically get is a, an image, big blank page, and then you get this little toolbar here with lots of different widgets that you can do. Now, if I click on the home, I can go back to sort of the admin area of Classroom Screen. I could change the backgrounds. I could set up different workspaces and different screens. If I wanted to have um, a couple of different screens for different classes that I teach with different looks, I can do that. I also can go in here onto name lists and I can actually create different name lists. So I can click on create new name list and I can give it a title and I can add the children into there. Um, I've done that already with my demo class just here. So I'm going to go home. Um, I'm going to go into my first screen here. So what we've got then is a variety of widgets on the bottom of the screen. If you wanted to have a clock, you can just click on clock and the clock will pop up here and I can have that in the, in the corner of my screen. I can click on the cog and if I click on the cog, I can change different settings for the clock. I can choose colors and I can choose um, how it looks from there. Um, if I wanted to go into have a, a sound level meter, so we're working with the class, and I want them to be quiet. I can put a sound meter up here. I'm gonna let it use my microphone um, and it will show the noise in the call. And if we're a little bit too loud, I get a ping. So if you're working with the class and you're accepting a certain amount of volume, they can be reminded if they get a little bit too noisy. Sometimes kids take it as a challenge, but let's see. A particular one I like then is the random name. So if I click on random name, we get a random name picker. If I open names to the side here, I can choose my demo list. And then if I click on that icon just there, a little shuffle button, it will cycle through the names. There we go, and I'll do it again. So we can pick different children that I want to speak, to, who I need them to answer a question, I can pick children at random. You can have particular images you can put up on the screen, you can add, add an image, so if you want to talk about an image, you can then draw on here, if you want to have a drawing pad, so you could use this a little bit like a, um, an interactive whiteboard where you had a, a blank page here for, for taking notes and prescribing, for scribbling on top of, and you've got drawing tools just here. We can have work symbols up, so I'll just move that up there, and the class can be reminded of the, the current way they're supposed to be working, if they're working in silence, they're working a la whisper, they're allowed to talk and ask their neighbor or they're allowed to work together you can have that up on the screen to remind them particularly useful with with primary children uh, you can have traffic lights up as well so you can have if the whole class is on a warning or or whatever you can have traffic light system and also timers so I can move a timer around here if you wanted to have a timer for a particular activity you can give them a 10 minute timer you can change obviously with the sliders here let's give them one minute and click play and it will count down for one minute so let's start that off and we'll get a one minute timer 59, 58, 57, and so on, which is really useful. Stop that, I'm gonna click. There are actually some more widgets as well. Over the bottom here, if you want to, you can click on more widgets, and you will get some extra ones if you want to have them. Dice is quite useful. You can embed other content, and you can embed uh, videos from YouTube. You can have a visual timer, if you have a better better timer for them, and a stopwatch, and so on. So Classroom Tools, a really useful uh, resource. If you've got an interactive screen, but not a lot of your software on there, then you can go straight to Classroom Screen, and that'll give you some of these little widgets, which makes a lovely sort of homepage for your class. But really useful resource um, go take a look and let me know what you think in the comments as always please like and subscribe anything in particular you want me to take a look at um, fire up some questions i'll be back soon with some more videos in the very near future so thanks a lot for your time and i'll see you again soon cheers goodbye